Good morning, Reefers. Happy Easter, everyone, from all of us at Coral Lust. Uh, right now, it's me and Ed. We just wanted to give What's a up, quick hello, see how everyone's Sunday was going, see if you're still quarantined, and just basically give you a little update. So we've been working on this tank. We're really excited how it's been coming along. Everything seems to be absolutely awesome right now. The only problem is right now, someone just dropped off an angry purple tang. Now this guy is tiny. And what's up, Gabriel? Happy Easter. And this purple tang is a really angry fish. And we don't know if we put him in here and it's gonna be okay or not with the damsels, uh, if he's gonna stress him out enough or if he's gonna get eaten by the trigger or the lionfish. So it'll be interesting to see what happens with this tank and what we do with that purple tang in here. But this thing is cool. I'm loving this tank. It's just so awesome. Um, in a cylinder tank, the fish really do swim around a lot. It gives you just this crazy motion and feel. So that is one thing it's good for, for right now. Um, we have not had two seconds to put this thing together. Um, it's just been a crazy um, week, but I'll probably just do this thing and get it done. So if you guys are interested in seeing us put together the Neptune or you're interested in the Trident system, or you want to know what it's like to install one or whatever, just let me know because I'll do a video. I just don't know how bad people want to know. Um, but it's a really cool system and we want to deck that tank out for SPS. So I'm going to do a calcium reactor and go the whole nine. So this tank over here should be acros. It really needs to be. And like I said, it's about time. So I'm going to be working on that and dialing it in. So the tank is cycled, it's ready. Everything looks awesome and just happy so far. So we can go and start putting some pieces in there. Hello, Liza. The more I know, the better I feel. That's, that's good, Gabriel. Yeah, I mean, if you have your information at hand and I can't wait. Hey, Barry, happy Easter. Um, I can't wait to drop a few things, Gabriel. So I do own a, two new websites and I'm so excited to see what's gonna happen for the future. Um, so I can't tell some of you guys while you're watching right now since, like you said, if you're listening to this, then awesome. Um, so we are going to have a Cash for Coral website being released soon. And I'm going to buy coral from pretty much anybody who's registered. We've tested your water. We um, did a little background check on you. We know you're a good guy um, or girl. We're going to buy frags from people. May it be the Xenias, may it be Zoas, Pallies, Acros. But once we... Um, go through the vetting process and stuff and you are one of our people we'll just basically send you either paypal cash for your coral so that'll be something that we're going to set up in the next few weeks so pretty pretty cool and the other one is the aquatech gurus we have a really, really interesting monitoring system that's already dope i mean unbelievably cool and i want to start selling some of those things to people soon so we have little computerized gadgets that help make your reef keeping a little bit easier and a little bit better. So I'll be excited to release to you those ATG products in the near future. So, oh, you're getting rid of your LPS, Gabriel? What are you gonna do then? Oh, my side, Gabriel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I switched over to SPS for a while. I keep getting bit by different bugs. One day it's mushrooms, one day it's acros, another day oh, it's, ugh. it's just hard to find out what you like. That's why you have to have a tank for everything. I love the SPS. I mean, it's insane. But to try to do a complete mixed reef is so hard. Yep. So this is going to be the softies over here and just let it do its thing. And then this will be acro. the acro tank over wow. here. So we'll see. But this, this is designed for acros. The rock work on this tank is just going to have so much flow through here. I can literally just glue acros the whole way across. So I'm going to be having to visit a few people and pick up some awesome acros and yeah, you're done with mixed. It's tough. You're better off, like I said, having separate systems. It really is. I mean, with the calcium reactor, with the Neptune system, this will be ready for acros, but without checking your alk regularly, um, going up and down spikes, it's, it's a real big issue. So it'll be nice to, uh, Gabriel, see what you do. So cool. Keep us informed. Everyone who's watching, make sure you check out Gabriel's channel. Um, Gabriel, if you post a comment right now, I can probably add it. Let me see. Gabe's Reef Tampa, if you're looking for a good YouTube channel with some awesome corals, check out Gabe's Reef Tampa. It's really awesome. So, 
and this is our mixed reef but it is insane I, I i love the peninsula tank but the one thing i'm not happy with is the flow it's the, the length of it this thing should have drilled closed loop in the bottom there should be pumps on this side of the tank underneath that have better circulation trying to supercharge your water flow to get it to to move around it is a difficult thing with peninsula tanks so it's something to think about um but luckily this is only a five foot tank but the more you pack it with coral the more the current on that side they, they're getting beat up so i may actually have to move some rocks around in this tank but the way i designed it every rock is easily moved and picked up and switched around so this tank is laid out pretty awesome and here's my rainbow hornets dude these things are awesome they've been growing and doing so well right there um yeah, I love them. So let's see what else we got here. Yeah, this blue more frog spawn. That's pretty incredible. And then, of course, we got this hammer, which, like you said, without the lens, I keep taking it on and off. Oh, you know what? And it's in my pocket. So this time I was smart. Let's see what I can do. Voila, voila. Okay. So now you can see the blue morph a little bit better. There's little chunks of blue throughout this thing. There's my bright orange serpent stars i love these guys they're perfect for the reef if you ever see them at your local fish store and they're healthy make sure you pick one of these up because they're just like the perfect pet they look awesome you can find them anywhere in your tank they always just stand out and they're stunning so look for serpent stars all right is this guy ready to go in the evil purple tang should i dare put him in here He's going to mess this tank up, I bet you. He's so angry, he was chasing around all the fish. That's why he was brought to us. So, he's been labeled a demon purple tang. Um, so, we're going to bless him on Easter, and hopefully he'll be fine. If not, the lionfish will eat him um, and the trigger. But if he starts chasing around, even the parrotfish will let him bite him. So, hopefully, we have no issues. But, you know. Huh. There's a silver side still up there. If I can just get to the bottom, that guy will be so happy. Alrighty, Ed, anything else we need to say? I kind of feel like I'm uh, missing out here for a second. Um, well, we are getting ready for a new auction very soon, guys. Yeah, check out eBay. We definitely are going to have some cheap, cheap, cheap auctions on eBay. So if you're looking for something, um, definitely go check it out. We are giving away bounce mushrooms for 75 bucks. It's insane. I can't believe it. So, all right. That's my Easter update. I think I'm out of here. I do need to... Oh, the snake. I don't even think I told you guys today. Or said hi. All right. That was the Facebook people. So this is the YouTube people. What up, YouTube people? Um, this is my snake. This is King Triton. But if my daughter hears that, she will say it's her snake. Um, but yeah, he's in here. He's probably like, why are you waking me up again? You just put me away. But there he is. That's our Burmese python. Absolutely gorgeous. King Triton. He's such a cool guy. So Ed brought in a um, blue uh, Madagascar um, chameleon this morning. And he's really cool. Ed, this guy likes climbing up. I'm going to pick him up. Yeah, he does. He's like, buddy. Hey, check him out. Dude, the colors on this guy are so awesome. He's got like a yellow smile. He's so freaking cool. His belly's like white and red. and That's why I love chameleons. Just very, very friendly, very cool. So, um, Gabriel, check out these mushrooms. I know you said you want some SPS stuff. But these things, these are all the ones we cut up the other day. <laughs> Yeah, he looks like that. Why so serious? <laughs> hmm. What's up, buddy? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I need to put the lens back on, but I can't reach in my pocket now with, the, with him. But I cut up a lot of these mushrooms, and they look incredible. They're just so big. Some of them that I cut are ready to be cut again. Those candy crushes are huge. Whoops, I hit the button too hard. I mean, even look at this Yuma over here. It's all fluffy. Yeah, Gabriel, I, I can't even tell you how much I'm in love with this piece. Oops, sorry. 
Sorry, buddy. You're on my arm. But um, this one over here, the jawbreaker, and that one, the eclectus with the stripes through it. I've never seen a mushroom that looks that cool. So hopefully I'll frag that one later on. But all right. I think we're going to get out of here in a few minutes. I just wanted to, like I said, do a live stream for you guys. If there's something you want to know, um, and I think we're going to be doing a couple services this week. And what I want to do is kind of take you guys with me and just do like a live as I'm servicing. So I think Ed's off school, so we'll suit him up in some hazard masks and I'll take him with me. But I think what we want to do is just show you guys how we service tanks, the difference between each tank I see, the lighting, the rock, the, just everything. There's so much to learn. So thanks, John. I hope you're doing well too. Oh, let me see. I got my chameleon climbing up. He's very active, Ed. He wants to reach for the, for everything. So he's up there. He's definitely got personality. Yeah, he does. So, so yeah. So we're gonna be doing videos on us in servicing. So you'll get to see different tanks, different setups, different equipment, and I figured people would get a kick out of it. So, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying, Gabriel. I want to get to it, and I want to show people what's more important: bang for your buck. A lot of us spend too much time on YouTube and other forums and Facebook and so many people get wrong information or they just get mentally ambushed like it's funny I'll sell something to a customer they'll get home call me and be like oh my god you won't believe what I just read I gotta take this out of my tank or they'll get freaked out or they'll be bugging out and I'm like what did you read calm down <laughs> it's okay let's figure this out um, so it is tough all right somebody's I feel like I'm getting my ear pierced right now he's hanging on pretty tight oh my gosh he's like grabbing onto a piece of your neck i know he's like try to f me up man let me see can i can i change camera angles now let's see if it'll let me do it during the live stream i think he um, wants to get up top he sees the leaves he's like let me get up there so he's um yeah thanks buddy <laughs> very nice oop, oop. <laughs> oh my god yeah get him man yeah oh. there we go so I don't know if I told you guys before, but I am getting a ringtail lemur. So we will have a monkey for the store, which will make things a lot more fun. Uh, where's that button? Where's that button? I don't like this thing. <laughs> so yeah, so I, I have a ringtail lemur and I'm hoping all goes well. And like I said, I get the paperwork and it just works out nicely, but that's coming soon. So Ed, anything else to add? Oh, we got that new Reef Nutrition stuff, the A, B plus. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, if you haven't seen this stuff, it's incredible. I recommend you use it. Reef Energy Plus. Um, I'm setting up a doser system, and I'm going to be using this on the doser. So it's pretty awesome. Once you open it, though, I think you do have to refrigerate it, so I'm going to have to find out. I may have to refill the doser daily with refrigerated. But if it works, it makes the curls more healthy and more valuable and that's what I'm going to use yeah Gabriel let me know how you like it if you just started using it <coughs> I really want to know look at that torch man he's just getting his butt kicked in yeah. there the current is just whipping it around it's so cool though it, that's definitely a dragon soul yeah there's a dragon soul torch in there oh you can go weak that's good that's good uh, uh, Gabriel to know um, because I'm going to set up, like I said, a dosing system and then just have it either gravity fed drip in here or um, just use the JBO dosing pump. So, oh, really? It's only been a few weeks and the colors are starting to pop? That's, that's what I want to hear. That's exactly what I want to hear. Dude, these Jason Fox blood shots are so awesome. Unbelievably cool. And camera, the polyps. I mean, they just keep growing new babies on the side, so I'm a little sad because I'm gonna have to like change the prices because there's like four new babies on the side of that one, um, and I think we have it still listed for like $199. Oh, I changed it. Oh, you did? Yeah. All right, all right, good. Because we just sold one. I'm like, um, those are hard to get sometimes. Yeah. They, they are. Yep. So if any of you have uh, Jason Fox blood shots at home and you're growing them, let me know. I would really be interested in that. Somebody text us. So, alrighty. Um, any updates? Yes, I have some new products, like I said, that will be coming out in the next few weeks. So I'm excited to work on that. I have a custom viewing glass for fish tanks, reef tanks, frag tanks. So 
You got like 12? That's good. 12 bottles, is that what you're saying, Gabriel? Hmm. I think he's ready to go in. But. But yep, acros are awesome. Look at all the purple coralite algae growing. That's awesome. Purple coralline everywhere. Man. It just looks so thick. I love when your rocks get established like that. And of course it takes time. But if you can wait, it's definitely worth it. All right, Ed, anything else to say? I like that. Just oh, there's Elvis. Yeah. Uh, yeah, check out those auctions. They're going to be happening very, very soon on Facebook. Or not Facebook, eBay. <laughs> I'm trying to zoom out. There we go. Sweet. So I will open this thing up, install this later, and set up a tank for acros. And we'll keep you posted, Gabriel. <laughs> What's that, Ed? Just, he's just climbing on the oh. Yeah, these guys are awesome. You can watch them forever. Look at his colors now. He almost looks like green. He changed. Uh oh. If you want to, he's giving your llama kisses. Llama kisses. Dude, he is cool. Very nice colors. Did we ever take Patrick out today? Or uh, Bruce or any of those? We started to. I started it and then I couldn't find a ladder and then that's what happened. Where's that little mini ladder? I don't know. I'll have to use the big ladder. That's right, I'll use this one. I have a couple other ones I was supposed to move, but ugh. there's our shark up there. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Very cool. I love the shark. I need to get some more um, 3D images or um, stuffed animals or something to hang from the ceiling. We're looking a little bare up there. All right, wait a minute, why do we have penguins in here? <laughs> Anyone need some live rock? This stuff's awesome. Marker rock is amazing. So we got the marker rock, and then for your sump, we got some blocks in the back. Ooh. Okay, my camera did not like that. Just don't tilt it upside down, it gets mad. Yeah, so I have open cages. I don't know why. I just walked away. I was in the middle of helping a customer, doing something, live chat, and just leave the cages open. <laughs> All right. Ugh, there's our stingray up top, too. That thing is cool. I love the stingray. You said it was made of what, foam? Yeah. Cool. He's trying to hide from me. He's tilting sideways, acting like I can't see him. He just twisted his whole body. He's like, you can't see me. Come on, dude. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Come on. Come on, buddy. I haven't seen you in a while. At least you're not biting me. That's a good sign. Come on. I know I'm being a little pushy and a little invasive. I'm trying to get you out because I haven't seen you. I miss you. Come here. Come on, Mr. Bruce. Oh, your camera's shy. Okay, I'll back up the camera. He's like, get the camera out my face. There we go. Look at his colors, Ed. Dude, his chin is awesome. Yeah, mine doesn't have a chin like that. Whoa. All right, I'm going to move him around. Oh, we can let him meet. But give him a second. Let me get him out there. I don't want to trip and fall down this thing. I have to get on a ladder, like I said. All right, so we got my chameleon, there's Ed's chameleon. There's the blue. Oh, he actually looks much, he's puffing himself up. Yeah. I don't think my chameleon honestly cares. Nah, he looks very chill right yeah, now. He, he, he won't take his face care. off me. He's like looking at me like, hey. Of course, my camera's not really, fo oh, there we go. It focused. Anybody know who Z Frank is? Anytime I see these um, chameleons, I immediately think of him. And his YouTube channel. He does funny voiceovers of animals and different stuff like that. So it's kind of interesting to watch him. But So if you look it up on YouTube. Yeah. Yep. Oh, I know that guy. 
So here's our scorpion. Look at that dude, man. He's crazy. I don't know what his problem is, but he won't eat the um, worms we put in there. Yeah. <laughs> That's how iguanas do. <laughs> yep. Yeah, Bruce seems mad. I don't think my guy really cares, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> well, Bruce, all, this is why we called him Bruce. Because Bruce is after Bruce Lee. I think he, he just doesn't. He keeps his... Up, oh, yeah, he's oh, like, what? He's oh. like, what? What? <laughs> There's Bruce, ready to karate chop, ninja chop, something. And I haven't named my guy yet, so I don't know. I like the colors, though. He's starting to show a little bit of these white striping. Yeah. Oh, there. wow. I didn't even notice that white stripe. Yeah, you're right. My guy over here, he's like hanging upside down. <laughs> he's so cool. He's like, what? what? Oh. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, guys, don't put male panther chameleons um, in the same cage or else one of them's going to end up dead. Yeah. Yeah, we're trained professionals. We know what we're doing. Well, sort of. <laughs> Man, that guy, he looks hungry. So, all right. So I think I just did a quick little update. I wanted to say happy Easter to everybody. Um, I do have some awesome rainbow bubble tips if anyone's interested. <laughs> uh, I took my lens off, but dude, these rainbow bubbles are yeah, stunning. Maddie actually won one from, from our Easter. Oh yeah, we did give one away today actually for the Easter um, egg hunt. Yep. So Maddie got a really cool one. All right, buddy. I know everyone's a little cranky. You want to go home? You want some food? He keeps changing colors on me. He went solid green for a second too, which is pretty cool. Well, that's because I put them in my pocket. Hmm. So, all right, wish us luck. We are putting the demon purple tang in this tank, and I'm hoping he doesn't F everyone up. He's so mean. Yeah. This purple tang is... I don't know. He's got a bad reputation. So we'll see if he makes it through the night and doesn't hurt anybody. Otherwise, we'll have to remove him. But... He's a purple tang. I mean, what else am I going to do with him? I don't want to sell him to a customer. Somebody brought him in saying he's a demon purple tang. I don't want to risk doing, you know, passing it along to somebody else. So we'll try our best to wrangle him in. Oh, what's that, buddy? Where do you want to go? Where are you going to go? There's, I'm running out of fingers for you to climb on. Do we? Huh? He doesn't like the camera in his face. Freaks him out. All right. So there's that. Oh, you know, I'll let him over here. He can he can hang on this for a minute. Will they fight each other? If yeah. I put them oh, they yeah, probably will. Probably. Yeah. Probably. And he's gone. He's like, I know how to get off this thing. <laughs> he's like, last time. Mm. Come here, buddy. Uh oh. Uh oh. Nope. Yeah. He just. I think he just wants. It's the end of the day for him. He wants to sleep. Yeah. He wants to go I somewhere think, yeah, and I think perch. Bruce is still slightly bigger than my guy, I think. Yeah. It's pretty cool. But Bruce can turn red, yellow, orange. I mean, he is definitely cream of the crop. Oh, yeah, definitely. Because the thing with Bruce, he was captive bred like, what, you said 17 generations? Oh, yeah. Are you serious? Wow. Yeah, this guy's only a wild caught import, so I'm hoping to do some breeding soon. I'm hoping to get a female and see if I can, you know. All right, buddy. Let's go put you back. We'll get you some crickets. I'll feed him some crickets and he'll be happy. All right, Bubba. Are you serious? <laughs> now he doesn't want to go. He's like, nope, I'm staying here. Okay. You're going to be cranky. I know. I know. I know you're cranky. Nope. <laughs> when he wants to go, he wants to go. But the color changed instantly. I mean, he had a yellow belly with stripes. The other minute he was green. And he has that white stripe that comes through. So I don't know how he does it, but it's awesome. He just picks a mood and a color at any given time. So, all right, Ed. That's that. Uh, we're going to put him back. Yep. See you, buddy. Thank you for letting us play with you. Okay? You want to go? You want to go back? Huh? I know. I, I worked you all the way up. Now I'm putting you away. You just got, just got used to it. Look at his tail too, it's crazy. It was orange and red a second ago. So 
So anyway, that's Bruce. Good old Bruce. And then of course we got Pat, or Frosty and Patrick. So that's Frosty because he can turn white, so he's Jack Frost. And Patrick's over here from SpongeBob, Patrick, just because he is a dummy. He just has that look on his face all the time. He eats fake leaves and fake food. It's just, he doesn't know the difference half the time. So, and he drinks from the bottle like a baby, which is kind of funny. But that's, that's our Patrick. So, all right, everybody. I think I can finally sign off now. Um, I appreciate all of those of you who have watched and all that good stuff. But we're going to say goodbye. And to the next one. Matches my shirt, actually. <laughs> all right, bye, guys.